Riverside, Iowa, a small town in Washington County, is defined by being the birthplace of a hero. A plaque in Riverside proudly states that the town is the birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. Or rather, it will be the future birthplace of the famed Star Trek captain. Captain, later Admiral Kirk, was the main protagonist of the original 1960s Star Trek series played by William Shatner. He also appeared in the animated series, six films with the original cast, and a crossover film with Star Trek The Next Generation. An alternate version of Kirk, played by Chris Pine, appeared in the reboot trilogy, and a younger Kirk, played by Paul Wesley, appears as a reoccurring character in the prequel Strange New Worlds. Captain Kirk led the crew of the Enterprise on a five-year voyage through deep space, going where no man had gone before. As far as the people of Riverside are concerned, he was born in Riverside. Here's the thing. Nowhere in any piece of Star Trek media featuring Shatner is it mentioned that Kirk was born in Riverside. His hometown is never mentioned in the original series, the animated series, or any of the films. The 1986 film Star Trek IV The Voyage Home has Kirk say that he is from Iowa, but no town is mentioned. The story of Kirk's purported hometown began in 1968. Sears creator Gene Roddenberry wrote The Making of Star Trek. In this book, he refers to Kirk as being born in Iowa. In 1985, the town of Riverside was looking for a theme for a town festival. Steve Miller, a Star Trek fan and city councilman, read Roddenberry's book and decided that Riverside fit the criteria to be Kirk's hometown. He made a motion at a city council meeting. Another councilman eventually seconded, stating, why not? And the motion passed unanimously after five minutes of discussion. The story made the front page of the Cedar Rapids Gazette and spread across the country, being reported by the New York Times and BBC. Gene Roddenberry liked the idea and made Riverside Kirk's canonical hometown, stating, As far as I'm concerned, the first volunteer has it. The Star Trek novels Final Frontier and Best Destiny both feature Kirk growing up in Riverside. A plaque was placed behind a barbershop Miller owned, declaring it to be the precise spot Kirk would be born. This implies that either a hospital will eventually be built in Riverside, or that Kirk will be born behind a barbershop. It's worth noting that the plaque describes Kirk as being born in 2228, despite Kirk officially being born in 2233, because Kirk's birth date wasn't confirmed until years after the plaque was placed. Riverside changed its town slogan from Where the Best Begins to Where the Trek Begins. They hold a yearly Star Trek-themed town festival called Trekfest, complete with a parade float replica of the Enterprise. In 2004, Shatner starred in a reality show called Invasion Iowa, where he pretended to film a movie in Riverside. A Star Trek museum opened in Riverside in 2008 with a ribbon cutting from Walter Koenig, the actor who played Chekhov. The 2009 Star Trek reboot changed things, opening with Kirk's birth aboard a shuttle in deep space. The movie does officially take place in a different timeline, but the point of divergence is the same day as Kirk's birth, meaning he canonically was not born in Riverside. Still, the movie shows Kirk growing up in Riverside and has the town be the location of the shipyard where the Enterprise is built. While we're on the topic of characters from Iowa, here are a few other famous fictional Iowans. Holly Flax from The Office, Des Moines, Clint Hawkeye Barton from Marvel Comics, Waverly, Alex Karev from Grey's Anatomy, Iowa City, Kate Austin from Lost, town not named, Harold Finch from Person of Interest, Lassiter, Jamie Somers from The Bionic Woman, Van Horn, Miss Piggy from The Muppets, Keystone, and of course, Walter Radar O'Reilly from M.A.S.H., Atumwa.